What's going on everybody, it's Carmine from Barmine Tech and today we're going to be working on self-hosting Vault Warden out of our own home lab. If you haven't seen the news a lot, uh, LastPass has been hacked several times over the last six months I want to say and a lot of people use them as a password manager and having them host your passwords for you doesn't seem to really work out anymore so why not self-host it? We have the home lab, we have Docker and Portainer set up for it so why not do it? So that's what we're going to do in this video. I will lead off if your ISP doesn't let you open port 80 or port 443, you're not going to be able to host this internally. You can either host it publicly, which I don't really recommend because if somebody scans that IP range, finds your VPS or whatever you're hosting it off of, there's a good chance they might be able to brute force and get into it unless you get some good security, but I, I would re I would prefer to host it internally, privately, versus hosting it publicly. But we're going to get right into this video, and we're going to set up Vault Warden, and we're going to use Nginx NPM, and it's going to be great. So let's get started. One more thing before we go and get started is you're going to need a domain name. Uh, I'm not going to go over how to get a domain in this video, as well as I'm not going to go over how to port forward and open up ports on your router. Uh, we've talked about it in previous videos and getting a domain is pretty simple. I use Cloudflare, you can go on there, purchase a new domain, and once it's activated you're good to go. But we're not going to cover it so we can keep this video simpler and more precise. So now we're going to get started on the actual video. So to start off we're going to go into our portainer and docker. Uh, if you don't have this installed already, go back a few videos and I have a whole video of how to install Docker and Portainer and get it all set up. But this is what you're going to need. I'm going to click on my local environment since I have a few different ones. I'm going to come to app templates and I'm going to search Vault Warden. So we're going to install this container and while that waits to load up we're going to come back over and we're going to get Nginx. Nginx. And we're going to use Nginx Proxy Manager V2 with SQLite. And we're going to deploy that. And if we come down, Vault Warden is starting, and Nginx is good to go. So I'm going to open this up. So Nginx works on 81.81. And let's see if Vault Warden's up. Looks like it just refreshed. Well, we're still starting. That's okay. So we're going to start working with Nginx. So I've already messed with Nginx before. So I have some different credentials. But when you first install it and set it up, your default credentials are going to be admin at example.com. And the default password is change me. And then after you set this all up and you log in, it's going to prompt you to make a new user account and change the default password. So I can't show you that because I already did that, but that's what you'll get. And when we come into the dashboard, now this is what you'll see after you make your new account. So what we need is a proxy host. So I'm going to come over to proxy host and you're going to add a new proxy host. So this is where you'll take that new domain you just got. So you're going to make a subdomain off of your main domain. So I'm going to make an a, you would make an A record off of so if you had example.com and let's say you want to make it for vault warden you can make vault.example.com and you're going to point that to the public IP address for either your home or wherever you're hosting this off of so like for example I'm going to use example dot bar mine tech dot example dot bar mine tech Com. So make sure, so anytime you hit enter or tab, it's automatically going to save it. So that'd be your domain. And we're going to keep it HTTP. Your forward host name, if I come back over to Portainer and I come over to here, it's actually going to be the IP address out of Portainer. So you would line up and find your Vault Warden one and get the IP address out of there. You would paste that in. We're opening port 80. So we're going to use port 80. We want to block common exploits. We want to come over to the SSL tab and we want to request a new SSL cert and we want to force SSL as well as agree to the terms and then you would click save. So I actually already have this going on another machine so we're going to open that up and I'm going to go from there. 
So after you click save and it's going to go through and it's going to say it's good, you're going to come back to your dashboard and you'll see that the machine is set up to the right domain. Now you might get an issue and it might say there's an error or something. You can mess around with the scheme and change it back and forth from HTTP to HTTPS. I don't know why. I've had to do it both ways and one way works, one way doesn't, the other way works, the other way doesn't. I don't really have an answer. Um, I try to look up some documentation on Nginx NPM and try to find some other answers and it's been a little tricky. Um, one thing I have noticed is if you make a domain and you do a cert and then you delete it and then you want to do it again, it does give you a hassle about that. You can't seem to make a cert. I'm not sure what the time delay is in between. You can request new certs. So if you do vault.example.com and then you delete that and 30 minutes later you want to do vault.example.com again, it's not going to let you from what I've noticed. I'm not sure what the cooldown delay is or whatever it is, but that's just something I've noticed. But now, so this is actually another instance I'm hosting off the Linode machine just because I needed it to open public port 80 and 443. So after this is all set, if I click on the link right here at Nginx, it's going to bring me over to Vault Ward because I, po I pushed it so it's using the right one. And we can see over here, I have a lock, I have an SSL cert, I'm securely connected, and here's the actual cert information. So we just pushed a certificate to our domain, and now we can actually log in to Vault Ward. I can only log in if I type my password right. Only helps if I type my email right too. So after you get it all set up and now you have it hosted, we are here at Vault Warden and this is that default page you get. And now you're all set. You're self-hosting Vault Warden now. But there's one more step so you can actually integrate it into using it. So if I come over to Firefox, and I'm going to go to the Firefox store, and we're going to search for add-ons, and we're going to get the Bitwarden add-on. I'm going to add it to Firefox, and we're going to add it again. And now you can see Bitwarden Password Manager has been added. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to log in. So, continue to my master password. Right, so we're going to get this one because we actually need to push it to a different server because we're not having Bitwarden hosted. So we need to change it so it's telling it to use the self-hosted server off our domain not their server so when you come to the sign on window there's going to be the gear option up here and you're going to click that and there's server url so you see it's self-hosted environment and we're going to come over here and we're going to enter the url for our new web server we're going to save that and now if i hit continue and i put in my password i'll be able to sign in and you can see now Vault Warden is integrated into my browser. It's using Bitwarden, and I can start adding all my passwords and credentials to it. So I know we jumped around a lot in this video, and we covered a bunch of little, a bunch of different things pretty quickly. But I hope it was clear enough with setting up Nginx. It's, it looks a lot more complicated than it is, but you just have to be patient with it because you might get error messages here and there. But just take a breath and try again. Um, I know I jump back and forth from my actual home machine to my Linode machine and there and back, but I had to do that so I could show you guys how to actually set this up the right way. Um, I think Bitwarden is a great thing to incorporate into your home web. If you could self-host it, why not? And it's a more secure way that you actually have ownership of where all your passwords and anything else you want to save in there is stored, instead of trusting some big company that seems to keep getting hacked or any other password manager you may use like Google Chrome or anything else now you could use Vault Warden you could put the app on your phone you could use the app on your browser you could do all different sorts of things so 
I think it's a great thing to incorporate into your home lab. I hope you guys like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.